Are you ready for a spine-tingling journey into the heart of darkness? Brace yourselves for whispers from the wilderness, unraveling true crime tales among forests and mountains. Venture with us into the depths of nature, where sinister stories lurk amidst the towering trees and rugged landscapes. This captivating series delves into the chilling mysteries that have haunted these wild regions for centuries. Discover the secrets hidden within the dense forests where myths and legends intertwine with real life horrors. Unfold the dark narratives of missing hikers, eerie disappearances, and unsolved crimes that have left investigators puzzled for decades. Join us as we explore infamous crime scenes where the natural elements become accomplices in these chilling tales. From harrowing encounters with elusive serial killers to unexplained phenomena, prepare to be captivated by the untamed wilderness. Through interviews with experts, survivors, and those haunted by the past, we will piece together the intricate webs of deceit and terror that have unfolded among these landscapes. Uncover the secrets that only nature witnessed. From the snowy peaks of the majestic mountains to the dense shadowy valleys, these haunting stories will send shivers down your spine and make you question the true nature of the untamed wilderness. So, if you dare to step into the unknown, Subscribe to our channel and join us on this bone-chilling expedition. Brace yourself for whispers from the wilderness, unraveling true crime tales among forests and mountains. Thanks for watching. The Eastburn family murders are a tragic and haunting crime that occurred on May 9, 1985 in Fayetteville, North Carolina. The victims of this horrifying incident were Catherine Eastburn, her two young daughters, and their unborn child. This brutal crime shook the community to its core, leaving lasting scars on the survivors and forcing us to confront the darkest aspects of human nature. Catherine Eastburn, a military wife, was left alone with her three children when her husband, Army Captain Gary Eastburn, was away on a training exercise. Little did she know this period of separation would be the last time they communicated. On that fateful morning, a neighbor discovered the lifeless body of Catherine in the family home. As the news spread, shockwaves reverberated through the community and the hunt for the killer began. It soon became apparent that this was not just a random act of violence, Investigators discovered signs of sexual assault on Catherine's body, indicating that the perpetrator had not only taken her life, but also violated her. The brutality of the crime was unimaginable, particularly considering the vulnerability of the victims, including two young children and a pregnant woman. The police found crucial evidence that would lead them to the killer they found a bloody footprint and a few strands of hair that did not belong to anyone in the Eastburn family. The discovery of a credit card transaction at a local ATM also played a vital role in identifying the suspect. Using these leads, they were able to link the crime to Timothy Hennis, a soldier stationed at a nearby base. In a bizarre turn of events, Hennis had previously lived in the same house as the Eastburn family before they moved in. His proximity to the victims and the evidence connecting him to the crime created a strong case against him. However, during the initial trial in 1986, Hennis was shockingly acquitted due to lack of conclusive evidence, leading to intense public outcry and disbelief. Years later, in 1989, Hennis would face trial once again. This time, however, new forensic techniques were available, including DNA testing. The DNA evidence collected from the crime scene conclusively linked Hennis to the murders, irrefutably proving his guilt, 
in 2010, he was found guilty and sentenced to death. The Eastburn family murders serve as a stark reminder of the heinous crimes that can occur within our communities. The tragedy of this case is compounded by the fact that it involved military personnel and their families, individuals who are often seen as symbols of security and protection. The loss of innocent lives is a painful reminder that evil exists even in the most unexpected places. The devastating impact of this crime extends beyond the victims themselves. The horror of the Eastburn family murders has left an indelible mark on the surviving members of the family and the community as a whole. The loss of Catherine, her two daughters, and their unborn child cannot be quantified, and their deaths serve as a stark reminder to cherish our loved ones and remain vigilant to protect the sanctity of our families. In conclusion, the Eastburn family murders represents one of the most disturbing and heart-wrenching crimes in American history. The brutal acts of violence committed against Catherine and her children shocked the nation and forever changed the lives of those involved. This tragedy reminds us of the dark depths of human depravity and the need for justice and compassion to prevail. As we reflect on this horrific event, may we strive to create a society that upholds the values of peace, empathy, and the protection of innocent lives. Our next story is the West Memphis Three case. It's a notorious criminal investigation that captivated the nation's attention for years. Centered around three young boys who were brutally murdered in West Memphis, Arkansas in 1993, this case took numerous twists and turns, ultimately leading to the wrongful conviction and subsequent controversial release of three teenagers known as the West Memphis Three. The case highlights the flaws within the justice system, the power of public opinion, and the significance of maintaining a fair and unbiased investigation. On May 5th, 1993, the bodies of three eight-year-old boys, Steve Branch, Michael Moore, and Christopher Byers, were found mutilated and submerged in a creek. The gruesome nature of the crime shocked the tight-knit community and prompted an intense investigation. The media frenzy surrounding the case resulted in the, the arrest and conviction of Damian Eccles, Jason Baldwin, and Jesse Miskelly Jr., three teenagers who were alleged to be involved in satanic rituals. The investigation and subsequent trial were marred by numerous irregularities and questionable tactics. Miss Skelly, who had limited intellectual capacity, was interrogated for hours without a parent or legal counsel present and was eventually coerced into confessing. His confession, which formed the cornerstone of the prosecution's case, was inconsistent and riddled with inaccuracies. Nevertheless, it was admitted as evidence against all three teenagers during their joint trial. The media circus surrounding the case significantly influenced public opinion, leading many to believe that the West Memphis Three were guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. The sensationalized reporting focused on the supposed link between Eccles' interest in dark music and the satanic panic of the time. This biased portrayal contributed to an atmosphere of fear and prejudice, making it difficult for the defendants to receive a fair trial. Despite the lack of physical evidence connecting the West Memphis Three to the crime, they were convicted. Eccles was sentenced to death, while Baldwin and Miss Kelly received life imprisonment. The case gained attention from various advocacy groups and celebrities who believed in the defendant's innocence and criticized the justice system's handling of the case. Over the years, 
new evidence emerged that cast doubt on the guilt of the West Memphis Three. DNA testing conducted on the crime scene, evidence excluded them as contributors and instead pointed to another potential suspect. This evidence, combined with a groundswell of public support, led to their eventual release in 2011 through a legal maneuver called an Alford plea, which allowed them to maintain their innocence while acknowledging that the prosecution had enough evidence for them to be found guilty. The West Memphis Three case serves as a stark reminder of the flaws within the justice system. The rush to judgment, coerced confessions, and a biased investigation highlighted the inherent biases that can undermine the pursuit of justice. Furthermore, the power of public opinion demonstrated how the weight of public sentiment can influence the outcome of a trial. In conclusion, the West Memphis Three case remains a dark chapter in the history of American criminal justice. The wrongful conviction of three teenagers, the years they spent behind bars, and the unanswered questions surrounding the murders of three innocent boys all point to a flawed system. This case exemplifies the importance of conducting fair and unbiased investigations, reminding us to seek truth and justice at all costs. Our finally story is the mysterious disappearance of Dennis Martin. The world is filled with countless unsolved mysteries that continue to captivate our imagination and leave us wondering about what could have happened. One such puzzling case is the disappearance of Dennis Martin. On June 14, 1969, Dennis Martin, a six-year-old boy, vanished without a trace while playing in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee, leaving behind a trail of unanswered questions. Dennis Martin's disappearance remains one of the most perplexing cases in the history of missing persons. That fateful day, Dennis was with his family, enjoying a weekend getaway in the picturesque National Park. The Martins, along with Dennis's father's friend and his two sons, indulged in a game of hide and seek. Dennis's father, William Martin, and his friend Harold Key carefully planned a prank to surprise the boys by pretending to be a bear. However, when they jumped out, it was Dennis who vanished instead of surprising the other kids. The immediate response from the family was one of panic and confusion. A frantic search began for Dennis, but despite the efforts of hundreds of search and rescue officials, the boy was never found. As days turned into weeks, the search operation expanded with volunteers, park rangers, and even the military scouring the thick forest in hope of locating any sign of Dennis. However, not a single clue was discovered. The case eventually came to a halt, leaving Dennis's family devastated and the world baffled by the inexplicable disappearance. Numerous theories have emerged over the years, attempting to shed light on what could have happened to Dennis Martin. Some speculate that Dennis fell victim to wild animals inhabiting the park, such as bears or other predators. Given the rugged terrain and dense vegetation, it is plausible that Dennis could have inadvertently stumbled upon a den or an animal in its natural habitat, leading to his unfortunate demise. However, despite comprehensive searches conducted to locate any remains or evidence of animal activity, no such discovery was made, leaving this theory inconclusive. Another hypothesis revolves around the idea that Dennis was abducted by a stranger. Being in a national park, the possibility of encountering unknown individuals cannot be ruled out. It is plausible that someone with malicious intent took advantage of the circumstances to snatch Dennis away. Nevertheless, no evidence supporting this theory has ever surfaced, 
No witnesses reported seeing any suspicious individuals, and Dennis's disappearance appeared to have happened abruptly, suggesting an unlikely scenario for this theory. One of the more far-fetched explanations suggests that Dennis's disappearance is connected to paranormal activity or supernatural forces. Some believe that the boy may have unwittingly entered a portal or an alternate dimension, explaining why the search operation failed to locate him. While this theory may appeal to those fascinated by the mysterious, it lacks concrete evidence to be taken seriously. In conclusion, the mysterious disappearance of Dennis Martin continues to baffle both investigators and the public. Decades have passed since the incident, and despite countless efforts to find answers, the truth remains elusive. Speculations and theories have emerged, but none have provided a satisfactory explanation for what happened to Dennis that fateful day. The case of Dennis Martin remains open, leaving us haunted by the unknown and reminding us that sometimes the truth may be a mystery that we will never unravel.